welcome to the LDM Show. I'm Charles Aloma, your host for today. Uh, Alyssa should be here soon, but we are recording here uh, on Juneteenth in Brooklyn again. This is our sixth year with Juneteenth, and we're having a lot of fun here. But, I, you know, I had a special uh, person to open up the show with me. I like this today. <laughs> uh, introduce yourself. I don't want to mess up nobody's name yeah. and, and what you do for a living. I know what you do. Uh, but, uh, you know. My name is James Henn, and I serve <laughs> as Commissioner for New York City's Department of Veteran Services. Happy to be out here celebrating Juneteenth in Linden Park. Yes. Um, uh, again, we were just with the veterans uh, two days ago. It was so, so great to be with them. So much story. Watch that episode. We got so much stories back in the days, but I want to know what is your intake of Juneteenth? What do you feel about being here? So happy just to see all of us out here celebrating, first off, as far as what Juneteenth represents and just the story of us as black Americans. But also, I think about what happened before Juneteenth as far as just mm -hmm. the years of bondage and slavery before. And then what happened afterwards as far as those uh, men and women in Galveston, Texas, finally learning in 1865 about their freedom and then the struggle that goes on. Another thing to me with the veteran aspect of this, I'm always mindful of the role that men and women of color have played in this nation's history and in yes. this entire story of what it means for us as black people. Mm. We think about the very first uh, service member to die and any sort of combat was mm. Christmas Addicts. It was a black man at the Boston mm -hmm. Massacre. You know, we think yes. about the number of uh, African-Americans who fought in the Civil War, with the 10% of all service members, service members mm -hmm. in the Civil War were black, uh, of whom 40,000 died as far as black people who fought there. Yeah. We think about all the strides we made um, here at home to, to be right by folks, even while fighting abroad. Think about the Red Summer of 1919, which was a lot of black veterans standing up saying, hey, I fought overseas in World War I, it's not right what's happening over here. And what mm -hmm. became of that? I think about so many different pieces of it, even Truman desegregating the military in 1948 40. and how that set the stage for greater progress here at home. And right. I think about Vietnam, where during the Vietnam War, 11% of our uh, country was African-American, 16.3% of the draftees were black, 23 percent of combat troops were black and so you can't tell the story of this country without talking about the black veterans and what they've done and so i would just encourage anyone who uh who, who comes here who's thinking about juneteenth to yeah. just tell any of the black veterans you see thank you for your service yeah uh you know two up you know thanks to my dad and uncle they're all veterans um and then the ones that i was speaking to and uh, uh fleet week as well um 1865 was a number that came out a lot 1919 was another number that came out a lot um 1962 i think if i'm not sure that number came a lot mm -hmm. with the with the uh, black and brown um mm -hmm. veterans and some of the stories that were not even in the history books mm -hmm. were from them so i encourage anyone that if you see a veteran speak to them learn our culture from them not from the books from the people that were actually there because i learned so much mm -hmm. Especially with the uh, 1919 where they were attacking the Korean War from the veteran. I didn't even know, un I was 50 years old when I found this out, <laughs> mm -hmm. that there were Latin uh, uh, embassy and a black embassy that never died. They were the perfect ones, but no one talked about those heroes. Mm -hmm. No one wanted to say these heroes came and they attacked with, with fleet, with heart, with anything. Mm -hmm. And they were the first ones to go because they wanted them to die. But That's they didn't die. Even the frame, the the, the, the phrase "bullet stoppers" right, was, right, that came up that right. was invented, that not invented, but said during the uh, Civil War. As mm -hmm. far as using a lot of us to go out here first, right. And so it just shows like there's so many things that we do as a people, as far as putting our, our bodies on the line and our souls on the line just to be right with this country, recognizing that the country isn't perfect, but still fighting to protect this American experiment. And yes. so to me, I think it's just so powerful when we see what our black service members have done as part of this tapestry of African Americans as far as our contribution to U.S. society. So I just want to make sure folks think about that when they think about Juneteenth in the season as well. Right. And I got a question for you. With the uh, history, because I, I, I speak about this a lot, with the history that I see is dying because no one wants to learn or speak about it. What can you give the other people or how can they try to get all this history and this knowledge? Like, I think I, that's a very good point. One piece of it is to just you know, speaking to and talking to these these veterans when you see these people mm -hmm. and the families too. These stories are often passed down. Certain things are just taught. Certain pieces of culture mm -hmm. are just taught and passed down generation to generation. So that's one piece of it. Another thing is we have a program in our agency uh, called the Veteran Voices Project. Okay. Where we're recording the oral histories of all of our veterans Ooh, and our family, the family wow. members. They try to make sure that these things can live on. That was inspired by work that was done during the Works Progress Administration during the Great Depression to go and intentionally record the stories of slaves 
back in the 1930s and 40s. Oh, that was wow. inspiration for what we're doing with our Veteran Voices Project to record these stories of our service members that they can live on decades, if not centuries from now. And we log those things with the Municipal Archives, with the Library of Congress. So I take just oh talking God. to somebody is important. But another piece of this is to just be intentional about saying, let me make sure I get this on paper. Let me make sure I get this on tape. Everyone yeah. has a phone, has a camera these days. Mm -hmm. Just to, this stuff means so much because it can live forever. Wow. Yeah. When you said documented, I was like, this is one thing, you know, because the story goes on. Because my grandfather told me the story and it kept changing. I'm like, wait, you say you were in the swamp the first time. Now the second time, you you know what I'm saying? And he's like, yeah, yeah, but I'm trying to make it more interesting. <laughs> and, you know, until he died, he always said, I'm going to tell you these stories so you can tell someone else. But I want to be clear about it, too. It's not the details, it's the spirit of, of it, it that carries on. Thank so you. all the Thank numbers, you. all the facts, all the data in the world, the spirit of it is what we're trying to put in a bottle to pass on to the next generation, to pass on to the next generation, et cetera. And I, and I tell you guys, there was more Purple Hearts given to black and brown people, and there's still some that didn't get it. I, 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 I've overheard that there were still some heroes that still have not received it. Mm -hmm. Like, what are we going to be trying to do and to learn about Juneteenth? Because a lot of people think Juneteenth is just to celebrate. Mm -hmm and they're not understanding what the real meaning of Juneteenth. In a couple words, what can you tell them? What is the real meaning of Juneteenth? Like if you could just sum it up and bottle it up in one little uh, can there. To me, the meaning of Juneteenth is to, for us to always remember where we've come from and where we're going. As far as, it, I think that's, that's really what it is. Mm -hmm. There's a story behind the trigger for it, behind, mm -hmm. you know, uh, general reading, the Emancipation Proclamation to Slaves in Galveston, yes. Texas on June 19th, 1865. But more broadly, to me, it's the ultimate, you know, uh, part in the story of black people mm -hmm. that just casts a light on how important it is between the one part of our era, the 245 or so years of bondage, mm -hmm. and what has followed since. And the fact that we are still in this struggle and we all have a role to continue to uplift ourselves. There you go. I want to thank you for opening up the show with me with so much knowledge. I wish we could just sit here and do a whole hour because I, I was always interested in the veterans. Um, I'm an army brat myself, being 10 years old in the Germany uh, base, learning how to shoot, seeing these things. And it got me nervous because I'm like 10 years old. Why are you teaching me how to do this? What, what do you, you expect us to do? You know, mm -hmm. but then I realized why they thought we were going to get attacked, you know, but uh, may, may I just add one thing too, just yes, to put yes, it out, yes. if any, you in the tribe. Yeah. Anybody who is a veteran or a family member of a veteran, we count you as one of us. We're doing what we can to be right by you and, at our agency, you. the New York City Department of Veteran okay. Services. If anyone needs to reach out to us, our email address is yeah, I was just gonna say that. At, it's connect at veterans.nyc.gov. Okay. They can call us. The number is 212-416-5250. It's 212-416-5250. The website is nyc.gov slash vets. It's nyc.gov slash vets. And on social media, the handle is at NYC Veterans. It's at NYC Veterans. And ladies and gentlemen, remember, if you do see a vet, do like I do all the time, and I always say thank you. Thank you for your services. And not only that, thank you for trying to bring us up as much as possible, because we need heroes. And the only way you can see heroes is opening your mind and listening. So again, thank you for Thanks coming. So thank Happy you for June serving. Team. Happy, Happy June team. team. Hey, this is yeah. the LDM Show. We're going to have a lot more. There's going to be bands. There's going to be music. And there's also going to be awards. And I'm going to check some things out with the Knits. And maybe you see me double judge. I don't know. But uh, we're going to have some fun here. Again, thank you, ladies and gentlemen. And keep on getting some knowledge. Hey guys, my name is Alyssa Luce. I'm here with the LDM show at Linden Park with JC. And she, I want to yes. say that you sounded amazing and thank, thank you. you so much for blessing us with your beautiful voice. That was honest. I didn't even know you guys were going to do anything like that. I didn't even know there was going to be a award. So just to come in and for that to be the first thing I experienced was honestly, I'm so grateful. So like you did excellent. I just want to say so that. Much. Thank You're you so much. You're welcome. Yeah. So what else do you look forward to at the festival today? Um, seeing us honoring the Black Kings, seeing the honorees receive their awards, other performers, just yes. all types of Black 
amazingness, all of, <laughs> of that, course, you know, so I'm excited. I'm excited too. You know, um, did you just get into singing in school or like, how did you? Um, I have the stereotypical singer story. I've been singing in the choir since I was like oh, yes. three years old. So I um, sang in the choir, then became a songwriter and released music and yeah. The whole you shebang. Music. Yes, I have wow. music out on all streaming platforms. Search on me, Jassy. All <laughs> what is, say it again. Jassy, or you can follow me on social media at Jassy World, which is J A C I E World, on everything. On everything. Yes. All right, beautiful. You Thank never you. know, you can send your music into the LDM radio and you, we can maybe hear you on our show. Yes, absolutely. All right, all right guys. Thank you so much, Jassy. It was Thank you. you. Thank Enjoy you. Enjoy the rest of the festival. Thank you, too. <laughs>table here we're trying to get the kids to oh, learn street a little bit hockey. about hockey and uh, enjoy the game that we love wow that's really cool i've never played street hockey so you guys can teach me some stuff and who oh, are you course. i'm matthew schroeder one of the employees in the new york rangers work for the junior rangers youth hockey in the tri-state area wow yeah, throw, the, throw the game however we can oh i'm really excited to see some stuff i'm carter taylor I'm also work for the new york rangers part-time um just here helping out showing the kids the game hockey uh Trying to get a new generation of experience hockey, just like the old one, and um, spread the game throughout the area, you know, different communities, stuff like that, try to grow it. Rangers had a good run this year, so hoping to parlay that in some good success in the community. Thank you, thank you so much. So now, who here is going to show me how to play some street hockey? I'll show you how to play some street hockey. Yeah? yeah? Okay, cool. Do you mind wearing the mic on your shirt? No, that's all right. All right, you just clip it right here. Go ahead, just clip it on. You're the professional now. I think it's on there. Right, okay, right. so what do I got to do? Which way do you shoot first, lefty or righty? I am a righty. You sure about that? I'm pretty sure. I think I would do everything okay. with that hand. Okay, if you're a righty, you're going to hold your top hand like this. Okay. Your bottom hand down here. Okay, more. Right? Okay, yeah. Like that. All right. I'm lefty, so I hold it like this. Okay. But I do everything else right-handed. That's why I asked you if you were lefty or right-handed. Okay, understood. So just standing here, we'll, you got a ball, guys? We'll, uh, we'll teach you a little bit about stick handling. Sure, please. Okay. This is actually really exciting because ice skating terrifies me. <laughs> okay. I Yeah, I get really scared that I'm going to fall, so I really give you yeah. props for playing hockey at all. <laughs> well, I was lucky. I grew up in the city and started playing ball hockey and roll hockey. Wow. And I was lucky enough to make it to the NHL. Oh, congratulations. So that's why it's, it's important for these kids to try different sports, and uh, we're trying to get them to pick up a hockey stick just like I did when I was young and uh, fell in love with the sport. So here's a ball for me. You heard that. Come try some hockey in the park. You never know. You got a future here's, hockey here's, star here's in your hands. Here's a ball for you. Oh, thanks, and, thanks. And okay. what stick handling is, is all you're going to do I is guess you use the sticks. roll okay. your bottom wrist and make a little pass <laughs> oh. to yourself. Roll it. Yeah, see, you're just rolling your wrist back and forth, keeping control of the ball. Okay. And that's just one aspect of our game is stick handling. It's not as easy as it's he's making it look. It's not as easy as you, you think it is. <laughs> yeah, I'll give you a little tip. Don't point your thumb down. Don't point your finger like that, and your wrist will roll a little uh -huh, easier. Uh-huh, like okay. that. Ah, okay. uh, ah. Uh. No! <laughs> thank you, thank you. 
Okay, now we'll do a little passing. A little passing, I'll give you. Okay. You're just gonna give me a target with your stick like that. Here, I'll keep both the balls Okay, over cool, here. cool. <laughs> and I'm gonna sweep my stick towards the target. There, oh. you're gonna catch it. There you go. Okay, and then. That's it. Ah. Now we're passing. <laughs> no. We gotta catch the ball, right? <laughs> All right, one last one, one last one. Okay, pass. We're gonna catch oh. it and give it back. Hey! Right. Just a quick, now we'll shoot at the net, okay? Okay. Try to teach you a snapshot. Snapshot, you're just gonna snap your bottom wrist towards the net. Oh, just... you saw that. <laughs> <laughs> it flew. All right. Okay. Keep your hand on the stick when you follow through. Go ahead. Okay, hand on the stick, and then you gotta do like a. That's all right. <laughs> Try again. Try again. Okay. Okay. Ready? Hey, you hit the net. I That's did right. it. Good, thing. <laughs> good job. Thank you so much. Right. That was really cool. Well, like I said, guys, <laughs> Linden Park. Come learn how to play some street hockey. These lovely gentlemen from the New York Rangers will teach you some awesome tips. I think they're pretty easy to work with. So thank you so much for You're your time, welcome. guys. Enjoy the rest of your day. Have a good day. Thank you. The team we said the city's done, but they don't know where we're really from. They're saying New York is a ghost. TV said what? They say we've lost that spark. Huh? Try to say we ain't strong enough. Get out of here. That New York's not New York anymore. Blah, blah, blah. Black party. Quickly throws it up for Tommy. Tommy Hoppin was bopping. New York is life. There are other cities, but they're not New York. We bounce back, and we build up. Yo, come here, let me tell you something. You can't stop us. We always survive. We out here. We stay lit. Facts. New York forever. New York forever. You got something to say? Tell it to New York. Hey, and welcome back to the LDM Show. You just seen her with the, the Rangers. Now she thinks she a, she a Goldie now. Now she thinks she all that. You, Learn a little hockey. But he I, ain't even see and he don't know how great hey, I did. Listen, listen, but I'm great in basketball. That's why I had to come over here with, with the great team right after me. Because I'm you a know, team by myself. I actually used to play myself. on the junior Knicks in the YMCA. Oh, you're on the, you're yeah, on the they, junior Yeah, they they vetted me. I'm vetted. You know, you know, bench doesn't mean you played, right? Well, of course you had the jersey, don't mean you a team member. This man stayed this in me. <laughs> I'm not the same. Hey, hey. No, but I'm with the <laughs> with the Knicks is in the house. How we doing today, man? Doing good, man. You know, it's always good to support a New York's team. Got to say it right now, we are New York's yeah. team, so I'm feeling good today. Yeah, oh, yeah, yeah. You know, you guys got, uh, uh, you know, programs for uh, kids, and y'all do a lot of stuff for the kids. So it's not just, you know, let me shoot out a two and a three and call it a day. Yeah. Um, let them know exactly what you guys do. Yo, so we have a few programs that we have for kids here, you know, Garden of Dreams. You know, we have a lot of kids who come out um, who can't make it to games or don't have the opportunity. So we give them those chances to get on the court, shoot some free throws, and like, you know, support them in their school systems and everything. So we do a lot of things for the community, not just shooting basketballs. Right. Well, that's good, that's good. But you, you teach them how to shoot free throws, not like Shaq, right? We don't want, we don't, we don't want another one like that, you know? Only it's Steph called, Curry. It's, it's called free for a reason. <laughs> it's a free shot, right? We gotta teach them how Steph Curry taught all of us, right? Yeah, yes, yes. <laughs> you know, but it's a good thing, you know, you guys out here on the June team, you know? giving out uh, information and stuff like that. We got, you know, guys out here. This is the first time I actually see, like, the New York Rangers talking with the New York Knicks. You're only in Juneteenth, you know, only in Juneteenth. <laughs> Everybody got to get together, right? Yeah, no, I mean, you know, we, we try we try our best to bring everybody together, you know, especially with the Rangers' success this year, you know. Yes, the yes. Knicks, the Knicks are on their way, so, you know, it's a, it's a blessing to see everybody together. You know, I'm, I'm waiting for that day where every New York sports is, like, on the top. You got the Yankees on the top. I mean, well, isn't I it usually like, in well. But anyway. Uh, <laughs> yeah, you know, I, the, we be, sl be slacking. It's because yeah, yeah. not, not you know, we can't we can't talk hot about New York, and we all know we slipping. We're slipping. We're slipping. We slipping. But the Rangers are, Rangers are doing good. Rangers never yes. slipping. Yes. Rangers don't slip. They don't 
don't slip. Well, they, don't slip. Not they even work hard. Not, not even on ice. ice. That is like I was <laughs> telling them, it's hard. Cold, they ain't gonna slip, man. Nah, nah, they're used to it. They're used nah, to it. Nah, but man. basketball's an art. We can't lie because, like I said, I play basketball, and it's not as easy as they make it look. <laughs> well, we got some kids right there with a the basketball. Oh, you know? we got some future and then stars. And we got some guys in the back. Oh Look yeah, who, who do we have here? We have Mr. John Stocks. He himself is in the Excuse me, gentlemen. Do you mind if you introduce yourselves for our show? Well, you probably you don't want me. You want him? No, we want. We want. I see a Nick shirt. We ask everyone. Mr. Stocks, how are we doing today? I'm doing good. How are you doing? Good. You know. Now I get to see him, he's tall, but I'm always up in the beach trying to look, and you look this small when I'm watching you. <laughs> I'm but, always uh, the same. You know, it's know. good that you guys are coming here today. Uh, like I was speaking to the gentleman about the Knicks does more than just shoot twos and threes. They out here helping kids out. How do you feel about that and being here part of June soon? Uh, it feels great. You know, uh, we make that uh, mission to uh, be a part of the community. The community has given us so much. It's going to be a great day. I'm going to put my water down real, real quick here. We're going to ask one of these kids, that have, well, two of them, we've got two basketball, we got two kids. Come on down this way real quick. You, you know who this gentleman is, right? Yeah, how you doing, my man? I'm doing good. You know who's that? 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 <laughs> <laughs> Say what for this. Thank you, thank you. <laughs> What's your name? Jonathan. How old are you? And what's your, your favorite movie? You, you think you can take it? Yeah. Oh. I don't know, that sounds like a challenge to yeah, me. No. He's I love the spirit. Hey, yeah, you know, he catches a lot of points. Come on. Points on me later. Oh. Teamwork. Whoa, whoa, whoa. I got it. See, that? See how I caught the pass by John Sox? You didn't even see it. That's how fast you are. No, I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> All right, I got you. So, uh, you guys love the game. What's the, the part of the game that you love? Let them know. The teamwork. The teamwork? Okay. I like the challenge. The challenge? Uh, you guys want to play for his team? I want to play for the Knicks. You know you want to play I for the Knicks. I can't say it. You know you can't say it. Come not. on. Hey, you got to say it in here. No. Come on, man. <laughs> I can beat everybody here. Oh, challenge. Uh -oh. <laughs> All right, kiddo. <laughs> We love, we love the confidence. You keep that up. Have a ball in their hand. Yeah, the confidence that we have. I like seeing that. Now, real quick, you know, they probably asked you many, many times, but when was the first time that you said to yourself, you a When I was about seven years old, I picked up the basketball. basketball and teach um, we have a tournament that we can do and I love teaching the kids because I'm like okay we're gonna be the net yeah you know and right now shout out to Jose Alvarado who yeah. was one of the students that I taught uh -huh. so that was yeah. so great to see him go from college now he's running yeah. so it's great yeah. that I get to see you guys here yeah. kids like this uh would <laughs> and everything else so yeah, true. Let, me, let me see what you got what you got what you got there let me see what you let me do a couple uh -oh. you do two uh -oh. hand dribble what you got Oh, he said yes. I think I could do it. I'm you, not sure. Okay, try it. Try it. Let's see. Okay, what, what you got with the one then? See? Hey, ladies and gentlemen, this is what it's all about, is the youth. We have Mr. Stars himself here. Yeah, I'm nervous. One of, I can say one of the this top. This is on the LDM show. You're on my list. I don't know about their list, but my it's list. It's a talk show. You know, Hopefully the whole thing I'm going to have to go, you know, <laughs> you know uh, Patrick Ewing. You're probably a lot better than the You know what I'm saying? in the house uh and thank you too as well for giving us all that information yes thank you um you know we got basketball we he, he must be a coach you know he got the coach look oh yeah he does you know, you know the coach always had the ball down here like this and they're holding it like this and they're looking at everybody okay yeah, yeah. <laughs> so again nicks thank you guys for being here new york rangers on the other side thank you guys for being here we're going to take a quick commercial break 
when we come back, we're gonna see who's the best double dutch person right here. You know? Definitely me. No, definitely me. Yeah, okay. Well, I got I got the look. I got the look. Like yeah, yeah. Yeah, the look like yeah, you gonna yeah. do it, and then you I'm like I'm like one of those rappers. Yeah, bust it. Yeah, bust it. Yeah, oh, but I don't oh. say nothing. So I'm like that in the double dutch. Uh. We'll be right back. This is the LVM show. New York Knicks is in the house. We'll check you out. With over 15 years of industry experience, Umoja Events is your one-stop shop for event planning. As professional event planners, Umoja Events are ready to make your next event stand out. From signature balloon decor to our connections with multiple vendors, let us take the stress out of planning. Book with Umoja Events today. As mighty armies clash in a struggle for total domination, the scales can be tipped by one man who has the courage to confront his fate and make a choice that will decide the fate of the world. Put a lot of smoke in today. Wow. But anyway, were you expecting a real superhero? I don't think so. The real life superheroes are the ones that are helping out in their community today. And the LVM show will be there to bring you the events and stories to light. Do you know a real superhero? Let us know. But for now, follow us on Instagram and Twitter and like us on Facebook. Also, visit our websites for photos, videos, and updates. But until the meantime, hey, I gotta be out of here. And welcome back from that commercial break. We're here now. We're about to double dutch. Have you ever double dutch, Charles? Yeah, well, we're going way back. We're going back because we're, we're going to be hanging with the 40 plus. Oh. They're the 40 plus oh, okay. double dutch club right here. You know what I'm saying? So. You got all the got all the elders right now. We got all the elders. The be elders. Be That's be painful. You know what What's saying? my mama? If Forty is elder. Yeah, yeah. You know how we say we we old. But you, you can see right now they already started double dutching and everything. We're gonna move this out here. Uh oh. Wait. So we got the forty plus double dutch. So, so you know before they, they go, they take like two hours to stretch. Because us old people, we got to stretch. You oh, know no, what I'm no, no. We got to stretch. And s stretching is important, actually. That's how you don't break well, anything. After 40 to 50, we exercise just to get off the bed. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, because you don't take care of yourself. No, we off the bed. We like, Because you know you're the 20s, the, the, the alarm clock go, you jump out. Bam. 30, you hit the snub. 40 and 50, you like this. Wait, I got to get the water. Calm down. Oh. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> you would so, know. So the seat of 40 oh. plus double dutching? It's not impossible. Look, look, look. She all in it. She all in it already. <laughs> What's going on? All right, fun fact. I learned how to middle school. I learned how to middle school. I learned how to double dutch in middle school, and I was on a du double dutch team. And it was actually the greatest thing ever because it was so much fun. So if you ever try double dutching or you've never tried it, try it at least once. It's something fun to do when nothing's to do. She said faster. Faster. Oh, oh. I'm nervous. Oh, I like that. Y'all go. Shoot, I hope to be like you. <laughs> Thank you. Don't stop. Oh. Hey. 
63. Oh! All right, I'm scared, but I got this. I know, I, I got this. You want to the mic for you? Yeah, yeah. Go ahead, you got it, you got it. You got this. When it goes up. Ooh, almost. Almost, almost. Just jump up and down. Yes. Yes. You got it. You did it. I was about to go with you. There you go. It is like riding a bike. Oh, you got this, Charles? Charles got this. I was like 13. One. You did one. Ladies, I enjoy this and I love you guys for doing this at 40 plus. Y'all keep it going because y'all making me look young. And looking dumb, looking old. No, no, no. When I was in middle school, that was like 10 years ago. So what else do you guys do? I, I see hula hoops. Oh, yes. I want to see some of that. Wait, 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 wait. We got some double hula hoop work. I was oh! Say, he said double dutch and double hula hoop. Do they do anything single? <laughs> I don't think so. You heard what they that. said, double. Oh, oh. Oh, my God. Look, she does do a single. Oh, what is this? It's a hula hoop. I thought I was back in the, in the uh, Buddhist day. That's a hula hoop. Oh, I need one of those. I need one of those right now. Where do I get it? What? Wait, wait, wait. We all adults here. So she's just swinging balls and nobody wants to say nothing. Oh, that's right. She's 60 years old. And she's going to swing it and wear it out she wants to. These ladies have energy for days. Yes, they do. I love it. Love it. I need to look get it, one of those, that. though, look seriously. That. Where do you get one of those? Oh, my God. <laughs> On Amazon. Where, where you got a wooden hula hoop. Brooklyn. 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 Okay, cool. Oh, wow. So y'all under the 40 plus double dutch? Uh -huh. Wow. And six years old. Just that is beautiful. Six year, how old is it? 40 plus? 2016. Wow. 2016. And listen, you notice she said everything and didn't lose a beat, right? right. Yep. She didn't lose a beat. She did, she did not. She was like, we're from 1960. <laughs> yeah. And, you know, I was in the grocery store back in 1500. <laughs> and she didn't lose a beat. No, she, she did not. Like she that. said, like this that. is what I could do. Oh, now they're doing the dance, too? Oh, oh wait, wait, I need wait. A, wait, we got to learn this. Yes.
With over 15 years of industry experience, Umoja Events is your one-stop shop for event planning. As professional event planners, Umoja Events are ready to make your next event stand out. From signature balloon decor to our connections with multiple vendors, let us take the stress out of planning. Book with Umoja Events today.
cities, but they're not New York. We bounce back, and we build up. Yo, come here, let me tell you something. You can't stop us. We always survive. We out here, we stay lit. Facts. New York forever. New York forever. You got something to say? Tell it to New York. on the streets at Linden Park for today's Juneteenth Festival. And I'm here with one of the spectators. What's your name? Uh, Fallon. And nice to meet you. I'm Alyssa. Hi. And I want to know, what is something that you enjoy about the festival so far today? Oh, I enjoy the vendors, the dancing, just everything. It's so wonderful. Like, yeah, I know. Yeah, one of the vendors is a personal friend of mine. Oh, yeah? Do you want yeah. to give a shout out? 
Yeah, I'm to Lady M. Delicious. She sells vegan food and it's really tasty and good. Oh, yeah, that's great. Well, make sure to come out here and check some people out. We're going to be walking around. Thank you so much. Thank you, Alyssa. You have a good day. Hey guys, I'm here with Bon Bon Lakai and she has some fresh juices. I already tried the pineapple with sour sop. It was amazing. And you had said you had different locations in Brooklyn, correct? Yeah, so we have our first and only location in Park Slope. We're located at 351 Fifth Avenue in between 4th and 5th Street. We have amazing Haitian snacks, ice cream, cake, and these amazing tropical juices. Yeah, and I can attest to the amazing tropical juices part. It was the best. Well, thank you so much thank again. Thank you so much. It was so nice meeting you. Thank you. Thank you. And come check out more people with us at the festival. There you go. I just want to give you that. You're welcome. With over 15 years of industry experience, Umoja Events is your one-stop shop for event planning. As professional event planners, Umoja Events are ready to make your next event stand out. From signature balloon decor to our connections with multiple vendors, let us take the stress out of planning. Book with Umoja Events today. We're here at the June Team Parade with a lovely little boy and a lady that just got some tacos. Yes, yes. So, what did you uh, find most interesting about the parade so far? The parade? Uh, well, the festival. Um, the festival, actually, I enjoy the fact that it's just very, com it's a community vibe. Um, I appreciate that, especially for the kids, for them to come out. Um, I live right down the block. I didn't know they were doing this today. So, oh, no, so for it to be um, going on, I'm actually excited. and. Um, I just love the vibe and everybody just seems, you know, in the spirit, which is great. Yes, I agree. And this is your son, correct? Yes, it is. <laughs> Hi, buddy. How old are you? Five years old. And what's your name? Hyron. Hyron? Nice to meet you, Hyron. She's enjoying that ice cream, guys. There's so much good food here to eat. Now, can I ask you a question? Do you enjoy selling June Team today? Yes. Yes? Do you like your ice cream? Yes. Yes? All right, guys, have a good time. So we're here with Kinky Taco, and I have a question. What is the best taco on your menu? The Cajun shrimp taco? Yeah, probably the, the black and shrimp taco is one of our favorites. Yeah? Yes. And now I also want to know, what was the first taco idea like for your menu that you had? Um, probably the all-American beef taco. Yeah? Yeah. Okay, and last question. Which taco would you want to try but haven't yet, like in making on your menu? Mm, so we've been... I'm thinking about a jerk chicken taco. A lot of people in this area want to try a jerk chicken taco. <laughs> yeah. Well, guys, you heard it here from Kiki Tacos. Their truck is going everywhere. They also have Instagram at Kiki Tacos NYC, correct? All right, guys, check them out. Thank you so much.